It was good, my people. Today's video is another real one. The holidays are approaching. Maybe this title is a title that you can relate to. And I pray that this video encourages you and comforts you. Stay tuned. Drop the intro. So the holidays are approaching and the holidays can be a joyful time for many and the holidays can bring anxiety for many as well. The holidays means that it's time for the families to gather and it's certain people that you don't like being around. When it comes to these times, they can bring back memories and as you think about those times in the present, it can make you feel frustrated or disappointed or just sad because things are not the way they used to be and it sucks and it's draining thinking about it. But I wanna say first off that your mental health is important. Stop fooling yourself. A lot of us didn't grow up in healthy structured families. A lot of us grew up in dysfunction. We set ourselves up to be disappointed over and over and over again. So here's how you know if you shouldn't keep going around certain people during the holidays. You do not enjoy their company. Maybe you said to yourself over the years, I'm gonna just suck it up. But lately you've been realizing like, I can barely tolerate it. And I wanna encourage you to go around those whose company you do enjoy. Not everybody is like those family members who you don't like being around. And it can be hard to dodge those certain family members who you don't like, but you just have to know how to be wise and move. But here's some things to consider. Start your own family and traditions. Don't fall for the guilt. Many family members can look for a way to make you feel guilty because of the choices that you made that's best for you and your family. A lot of this stuff happens when you get married. Many families do not honor marriage. A lot of family members will test your loyalty and you don't have to give an answer for everything because that starts up even more drama. Don't get into an argument, keep the peace. And don't fall for the victim role. They might say things to you like, oh, you never come around or we miss you, but you know your family. A lot of them don't necessarily miss you. They miss what you can do for them. Man, people have agendas. You know, let them talk. Let them talk. The word of God says that it is God's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. I'm going to let that just speak for itself. I ain't even got to speak on that. And I used to like be thinking to myself like, well, you know, I'm a Christian. I should go around and be a light to everybody. And maybe I may win some souls man stop it's 70 of them and one of you <laughs> man they will gang up on you man people take sides people can change and switch up on you in those big environments those environments fuels people's confidence and i know you watch it right now like you hate that things gotta be this way but you have to consider also your kids how i grew up I don't want my kids to be around how I grew up. I don't want to expose my kids to that. And you might say, well, they might come across it anyway. They're going to find about, you know, all these things anyway. Well, I don't want it to be on me. I don't want them to be like, well, my, uh, my dad took me around uh, his family and I saw his cousin smoking weed and, I, and all of that. And I was influenced by that. No, like... The word of God also says, but if you cause one of these little ones who trust in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large milestone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. My kids, when they get grown, they can make their own choices. They can do whatever they want to do, but I'm not going to be the one bearing their responsibility. It's going to be on them. And I know we got distant cousins, right? And a lot of these people who are distant, are distant for a reason and it's okay it's okay for you to distance yourself and i'll be thinking like man there's so many of my family members who i haven't seen in years and that's because they are distancing themselves from how we grew up and it's okay i applaud them on that 
So y'all, hey, man, boundaries are good. Boundaries are good. And it's your life. Do what's best for you. And follow the Holy Spirit. So I've linked some articles below if you guys want to read more on this topic. So guys, enjoy your holidays. Be blessed. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. Hey, like this video and subscribe. And share this video with two people.